warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Let me introduce myself My name is Andira Rahmawati I'm from Mathematics Education Class 2B In Muhammadiyah Professor Dr. Hamka University This video was made to fulfill the assignment of teaching primary mathematics with Mr. Suban Adis Awaluddin, Master of Science as a lecturer. The topic of my video is histogram. Today, I'm going to cover six points. The first, definition of histogram. The second, part of histogram. The third, importance of histogram. The fourth, example of histogram. Then, I will explain about when are we going to use histogram? And the last one, the conclusion of histogram. So, let's get started. Well, start with a definition of histogram. What do you know about histograms? A histogram is a display of statistical information that use rectangles to show the frequency of data items in successive numerical intervals of equal size. In the most common form of histogram, the independent variable is plot along the horizontal axis and the dependent variable is plot along the vertical axis. The data appears as colored or shaded rectangles of variable area. So, that concludes definition of histogram is a graphical representation that organizes a group of data points into user-specified range. Next, part of histogram. There are several passages in histogram. That is... The first, the title. The title describes the information included in the histogram. The second, x-axis. The x-axis are intervals that show the scale of value which the measurements fall under. The third, y-axis. The y-axis show the numbers of times that the values occurred within the interval set by the x-axis. And the last one, the bars. The height of the bar show the number of times that the values occurred within the interval, while the weight of the bar show the interval that is covered. For a histogram with equal beams, the width shall be the same across all bars. Okay, next, importance of histogram. In making a histogram, there are things to be noticed. Creating a histogram provides a visual representation of data distribution. Histograms can display a large amount of data and the frequency of the data values. The median and distribution of the data can be determined by a histogram. In addition, it can show any outliers or gaps in the data. Now, let's move on to example of histogram. The following are data from 40 students' mathematics exam results. How do you make a histogram? First, we have to get distribution tables. To get the distribution tables, we have to calculate the range, is the biggest data minus the smallest data. Based on the data, we have the biggest data is 82 minus the smallest data is 65 equals 17. After that, we calculate many class by the Stargast rules, is 1 plus 3.3 log n equals 1 plus 3.3 log 40 equals 6.28 and the last one we calculate the interval by the range divide the many classes the range is 17 divide many classes is 6.28 equals 2.7 After we count everything, then we can come up with the distribution table. This picture demonstrates the distribution table. Distribution table consists of 6 classes with the length of each class is 3. 
for the love value limit of the first class can be drawn from the smallest data, which is 65. Then, the top value limit is 67, because its interval length is 3. In making a histogram, we have to know lower class boundaries and upper class boundaries. Lower class boundaries are obtained by reducing the lowest grades in the class by 0.5 and upper class boundaries were obtained by adding the highest grade to the class by 0.5. For example, in the first class, the lowest score was 65. So, the lower limit for the first class is 65 minus 0.5 equals 64.5. Then, the highest score was 67. Upper limit for first class is 67 plus 0.5 equals 67.5 and so will the next class based on that data we can see that the frequency of the value 65 to 67 are six students for the next data you can look at distribution tables this image demonstrate the histogram the title describes the results of a math exam from 40 students. The x-axis are intervals, with long intervals at each bar are 3. The y-axis shows the number of times that the values occurred within the interval set by the x-axis. The example is for data sample at 65 to 67 have a frequency of as many as 6 students. The next data from 68 to 70 has the frequency of 4 students. The next data at 71 to 73 has a frequency of 5 students. For the next data, you can see based on the histograms. Now, that we've discussed example of histogram, I'd like to talk about when the hell can we use histogram? Use a histogram when the data are numerical, you want to see the shape of the data distribution, especially when determining whether the output of a process is distributed approximately normally, Analyzing whether a process can meet the customer's requirements. Analyzing what the output from a supplier's process looks like. Seeing whether a process change has occurred from one time period to another. Determining whether the output of two or more processes are different. You wish to communicate the distribution of data quickly and easily to others. Okay, now we're at the end of section, which is the conclusion of histogram. A histogram is a snapshot in time of your process. It tells you four things. The first, which result or range of results occurs most frequently. The second, how much variation there is. The third, what the shape of the variation looks like. The fourth, if any results are out of specification. Remember, all process have variation. Process in statistical control tend to form a stable pattern which is called a distribution. Distribution are characterized by three parameters, location, spread, and shape. These parameters can be estimated from a histogram. Okay, that's why I told you about histogram. I hope the video can be informative. I think enough for me. Thank you for watching. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.